Hi friends. So in this tutorial, I will explain the get net IP address PowerShell commandlet. So let's get started. Now in the previous tutorial, what I did was I uh, gave a few examples of the IP config command. However, um, the good thing about um, PowerShell is that you can uh, access things as an object or different parts of it individually. So you don't have to cut or anything or uh, different ways of things that we do uh, we did uh, uh, in scripting like in order to get the default gateway or the IP address individually so it was kind of difficult however in here in PowerShell it's kind of easier because you can uh, access each of those objects individually so uh, the first thing that so let's start with the command now the command is um, get net IP address so it shows the IP addresses of all the interfaces on the uh, system you can see that the first two are the link local addresses for the IPv6 then it's uh, the loopback IPv6 then this is the loopback for IPv4 and this is our IPv4 uh, address with which we communicate between uh, the um, virtual machines on my system and the internet so this is my link local IP address so uh, let me type IP config also so this is this one this is the my IP address now let's say that uh, uh, all these output, all these files, it's like a lot. You have to scroll through it. Uh, so the, an easier way of doing it is that if you do something like format table, what it will do is that it will show it all of it in a table format. So we can see that it shows uh, in the first column is the if index. So the good thing is that it shows us its index also, the prefix length. So it's like the subdit mask. You can think of it as that, and some other things. So uh, the thing is, um, uh, however, if you want to get information only about the um, IPv4 or the IPv6 addresses, how do you do that? So let me clean it. Now instead of uh, typing that, what you do is that you type get net IP address, and after that you specify the address family. So you can say that IPv4 or IPv6. So in here it's showing me all those IPv4 addresses, their interfaces. So this is my Ethernet interface. And this is my loopback interface. So let's say, uh, so let's do this IPv6 also quickly. So it should show me these three interfaces that are uh, related to the IPv6. Let's clear the screen. Now the next thing uh, we can do is that let's say we want to get even more specific and what I want is that I only want to get information about a particular interface with a particular IP address. So for that we type in get net IP address and then we specify IP address and for the IP address in this case it was 192.168.43.104 I think yes so now you can see that it shows me only information about this IP address. It shows things like its interface index, alias, address family, etc. Uh, so this is how you can zero in uh, on one particular IP address. So let's say that um, you want to find out all the objects. So if I say something like select object, now what it does is that it will show you all the objects related to this get net IP address and that's related to only this particular IP address so these are the objects all of the objects for this particular uh, interface it was like prefix suffix type and things like let's go down uh, this is the transitional something original and IPv4 address prefix length this is like subnet mask interface alias interface index so for example you're writing in uh, a script and you're only interested in the index number or the interface alias or the IP address so how you can do it is that you can filter it uh, out even more how you can do it is uh, instead of asterisk we say give me only the IPv4 address of this interface so what it will do is that it will show you the IPv4 address. You can also say, show me its um, interface alias or its name. What is this 
this IP address in here what is the name of the interface so what you can do is type in the interface alias which is this one so we can access this object now you can see that it shows that its uh, alias is this you can also add, uh, access other things like its uh, interface index let's do this quickly as well let me clear the screen interface index this shows me its index so these are the different ways of accessing it or uh, let's see if we can do it this way as well so I'm saying give me the interface of the now instead of that I'm saying show me the address family IPv4 so what it does is that it shows me all the uh, interfaces that belong to this IPv4 address family it shows me its IP address interface alias interface index so it's their name index and their IP addresses so uh, previously as I mentioned in the previous tutorial I explained the IP config command however PowerShell has this uh, uh, ability that allows us to uh, access individual objects which is very helpful uh, it can come in handy very handy especially if you're writing scripts so this is it for this tutorial in the next uh, few tutorials I'll cover different parts of it things like the get net IP address which I did in this and then get net IP configuration and after that some other things so this is it for this tutorial if you have any questions suggestions recommendations feel free to put it in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next one